Yeah. Listen, uh, the, my research has told me, I just walked back there, that you've never met Peter, is that right? Well, Peter and I just met backstage in the yeah. green room, and uh, it's the first time. But I've been very much aware of Peter's work. He's one of my uh, faves, mm. and we have a number of mutual friends. And well, let's get him out here. You can say hello let's, together. Let's All right, bring, bring Peter Allen back up. Say hello. Ah, Spider-Man, that's the movie. You, uh... Yeah, isn't it funny how uh, um, you can be a mutual fan of somebody and yet never really come across each other in a, in a you know, in a, as vital a business as a music it's business? Kind of, it's, it's kind of strange we haven't because, well, especially in the past year, we've been crisscrossing. Like, a lot of the guys Boz bought out just played on the record that I just finished in Los Angeles. I mean, he doesn't work except with the greatest musicians mm. that money can, but you must be paying them a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, no. <laughs> no, you know what it is, because they were originally, actually the guys were originally your band, weren't they, before? Well, they like weren't the really. I, and all those guys. I did a lot of research to find those guys. That was yeah. about four or five years ago. Four or five years ago, he found, like, the best musicians that were undiscovered well, they were at that they point. Were they were kids. They were undiscovered. Get them when they're young, as is. <laughs> 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 And I mean, I guess they kind of do it for you as a favor, because like, God knows they wouldn't they go do, on the road for anyone favor. else. Uh, no, they are I mean, a they, band now called uh, Toto. See, they're in they're so Toto. They don't even do studio work anymore because they go out if they want. They go out as a band. Mm. But the thing that the guy who wrote a lot of the songs on Boz's last album, David Foster, was and your current album. was my producer uh -huh. on this one. He wrote some a lot of stuff. So the great thing is, is like. They will do things for friends that they would never That's do. That's really the uh, criteria. Yeah. I mean, uh, these guys could work 24 hours a day if, if, uh, At the best if money. anybody called. At the oh, best money, I mean, please. Uh, money is not the object. I mean, you don't pay these guys in terms of uh, scale or double scale or triple so, scale. So they only do it because they want to or they like they you or they dig your music. You know, you know, know what it is? is that they, they will work for, they'll work for bars, they'll work for the guy that we write with and produce me because they know that they'll have a terrific time. They know that they'll have a terrific time. It's not. I mean, they know they're it's not going to walk project. in. Project there's a challenge. Uh, we have they're some not new music. Jingle to new. do. You know. No. Yeah, right. <laughs> no. We know. No. We rely very much on on their talent. Uh, they know that when they come to the studio, nobody's going to give them any uh, uh, boogaloo about uh, do this or do that or we got to make it uh, a little more moody or a little more up. We're, we rely very much on their uh, their ability to, to their interpret. Their taste actually makes the record. It makes they're it. so great. Yeah, they're, and also, it's a change. Do um, they tour? Yes, Toto is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 they tour as their own band. Toto, yeah. But yeah, they're, uh, uh, they're on their own. Yeah. They don't do sessions too much anymore, like, it's, like we say, only yeah. as they uh, should choose. But if Boz calls and says, I'm doing something, or if the guy that produced and wrote with Boz, calls and says, would you do this? They will do it because, um, first of all, it's, it's a change from them being on the road and being Toto. They, they are old mu studio music. They're old. What are they? 23 now. Yeah. Or something like yeah, that. Old age of 23. Disgusting yeah. people that young with that much talent. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's strange. I found, I think, the, the new family with David Foster's help, because when, when you found the Picaros, how old were they? There were three brothers and they're incredible musicians. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They were. They must have been uh, 17, 18, 19 years old. Okay. Well, we found new ones that are 14. Oh, another yeah, family, we about 14 and 16. And Boz nearly, you know, hired the 14-year-old as a drummer. Wow. I had to uh, actually write a note to uh, the young man's teacher to ask him for an excuse to get out of school on Monday morning to come and audition for me. Uh, he's auditioning for me. I mean, the kid is. They're, they're two brothers. Uh, one is, what, 14, 14 16? the other one's 16. I took the 16-year-old on the road and let him play the piano. He got a standing ovation. I'm never letting him touch the piano. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I can't tell you what a delight it is to have two uh, such artists in the country at the same time, especially both of you sitting down here in the program, too, just chatting like this. This is terrific for me. Buzz, all the best. I hope it's a great tour for you, and I hope it's as good Thanks, as the son. last one. And Peter, of course, uh, what can I tell you? When you get a chance, the VFL final is going to be televised I'm live. I'm on Tuesday. 
Tuesday. You're, yeah. Oh, you're going to see his cousin? I have one night off. How this happened, I'll never know. <laughs> I'll just find out I have a night off. When they see night off on my schedule, I go, oh, my, what happened here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stick him on a television show, right? Melbourne Festival Hall, the 20th, the 22nd, and the 23rd. Brisbane Festival Hall, the 26th and the 27th. Sydney Horton Pavilion, September the 29th and the 30th, and October 1st and 2nd. You better get your tickets now, because... The buzz is back, okay? Thank him. Peter Allen, Buzz Gags, a pleasure. We'll be back. Kiri Adams has a song. We got the real, we got a whole lot of show. Hang on, hang on.